Hey everybody, welcome. Today's a special day, man. Shovel Knight, baby. Ooh, Treasure Trove, yeah. King of Cards, Showdown is out today. We're joined by Sean and Alec of Yacht Club Games. We're gonna uh, play some of this hello. beautiful game. We're gonna show it off. We've got a lot of Shovel Knight. It's so much Shovel Knight. Knight. We've there's, got a lot of Shovel Knight. There's a whole bunch of Shovel Knight to show off. So Let's dig in, uh, baby. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we should probably have you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah, full proper introduction. We're Sean and Alec. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I'm Alec. I'm a designer at Yacht Club Games. And I'm Sean, and I'm also a designer. I was a director of Shovel Knight, and that's me. This morning, Shovel Knight Treasure Trove uh, is finally complete. The last update. After five years. Is in five years of hard work. <laughs> five or six years. Five or six like years, that. something like six that. Six years of <laughs> development since, it came out. since the Kickstarter in 2013. Now it's Ooh. finally all done. Yeah. So when five was, games? When was Shovel Knight? You know, just a glimmer in your eye. When was? When did it? Kind of spark. I think it was it was like very late, like December of 2012. Okay. Because the Kickstarter was in 2013. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was like late late 2012 was the first time anyone ever said Shovel Knight in this context. I, yeah, I guess. You've known Shovel Knight Actually. for seven years. Yeah, I never Jeez. thought I would think of the word shovel so so many times. Mm -hmm. That's really. The, one of the big takeaways. Here. <laughs> and now, do you have to like correct people on Shovel Knight lore? Like, has it gotten to that that point? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't spend a lot of time correcting people. Well, you mean like on the internet or something? Like, <laughs> no, for, no, no, like work, in real yeah. life, where you are like, oh wait, no, it's it's actually, it's uh, actually like this. Yeah, de I mean, definitely, we have to talk to people about Shovel Knight lore all the time. Mm -hmm. We get to decide the lore also, Especially which is kind of cool. Cameos yeah. and side games, mm -hmm. right? People are asking us about. The, the tough questions about Shovel Knight all the time. Mm -hmm. We gotta be ready to answer those, you know. <laughs> so, do you remember the code to lock everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, code. So, okay, so this man, is codes! Don't you hate it when you're playing a multiplayer game and you just don't have everything unlocked? You wanna have it all unlocked, but you don't wanna like do the unlock everything code because then all your progress in your single player games is all gonna get messed up. That's so true. See, I, I, I wish it was like that. What you're describing sounds nice. You have to pay usually to unlock everything. Right, now. sometimes yeah. you even have to pay to unlock a character. Yeah. This, yeah. That's not even in my most evil ideas. <laughs> that's great, yeah. that's great. Yeah. It, leads you, it leads you on the, the light side. <laughs> So yeah. if you want to just temporarily unlock everything at Showdown and and see all the characters and maps that we're going to be playing, you hold the B button or the back button or whatever controller you're using, and you press up, up, right, down, left, left, and then release B, and then Whoa. bam, Whoa. cheats. Unlock. So what do the amiibo do in Showdown? Uh, the amiibo all let you wear different cool costumes Ooh. for all the different characters. So you could be Boom Tech Plague Knight. Can everyone see this? Probably not, right? <laughs> uh, I think those are just off. Game. Just out of view. Anyway, we can I'm, hold them playing, up. I'm playing with toys down here. Yeah, and here, I can so really be your, cool. your hand model here. Oh um, yeah, here we got <laughs> King Knight. Right yeah, there. glorious King Knight. That's Ultimate yeah. Supreme King Knight that you could get. <laughs> <laughs> you could get. Lich Lord, Spectre Knight. Wow. Those are just fun names to say. Yeah. Ultimate Supreme King Knight. Yeah, that's, yeah. Dude, that's dude. Like, a, like a taco, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, you can, and you can also get Boom Tech Plague Knight. Boom yeah. Tech. Boom Tech. So yeah, we could use we could use the amiibo in here as well. How but do you? Use, oh, the, it's right there. It's costumes it's with X. Ooh, look at that blue. And you red. Black Knight. Whoa. Blue Black Knight. That's it. Black I'm gonna show Knight. I'm gonna be gold armor. All right. Well, let's just jump in. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now everything is all unlocked. I th Ooh, just thought it would be best just to show everything. Sure. Yeah. To show yeah. like how expansive it is. It might be a little. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> there might be a lot happening here. Okay. So the objective of the game is to get 13 gems. So gems are going to come out of these treasure chests in this stage. You could press Y to use your attacks, and you could press X to use your special attacks. Yeah. Okay. If you hit the shoulder button, you can do a parry, and that'll negate any damage oh. from any move. Ooh. But you got to time it right. Love right. parries. It doesn't do damage. It just knocks everyone away and when you die some gems will pop out of you and the other players can go collect them oh whoa i got the mario Kart lately yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's gonna call it yeah. it's, it's gonna know we're on the oh, same page no. that's not oh, what it yeah. is <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the shovel light <clears throat> 
So yeah, we're trying to get 13 gems, but also if you die too much, you will run out of stock. You can see oh, everyone's okay. got a little green number uh, up in their hood. Oh, sure, yeah. You can play like a regular old stock match, um, but in Showdown, this is the default for collecting gems because Shovel Knight's a platformer, so it's right. important that sure. you're like jumping around and chasing after objectives right. and like using stone. your platform. Right, abilities. that's yeah, that's good. That's a good comparison. You know, there's. I think it's hard to make like a four-player fighting battler without getting oh, yeah. like inevitable smash comparisons. For but sure, like, yeah. We really tried to make a game that like feels different and like was more inspired by like the fun, weird mm -hmm. multiplayer four-player games that we played, but as kids, right. as, as opposed to like trying to ape smash or make something that was going to compare directly to it because you just like can't. Nor would you want to, right? Wow, well done, Shield Knight. Thanks. Right, I I think it's so cool that it's not like just a fighting game with Shovel Knight characters, but it's it feels more like Shovel Knight with multiple people, if that makes sense, where it's like you still are doing a lot of the things that you would do in a single player Shovel Knight game. Yeah. Uh, where you, you have platforms to worry about and obstacles well. and different attacks. And all yeah, Sh Shield Knight's like hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Well, we wanted to make sure that each, like, if you've played through these four campaigns at the top, right, it, your Spectre Knight, like, knowledge and skill will transfer over into the oh, multiplayer. Yeah. yeah, you want it to play oh, like dear. the campaign does. And ah. after so many, after so many Mr. Shovel Hat, Knight dude. games, right, like, after having so many Shovel Knight games, we really wanted to do justice to every character's moveset, mm -hmm. make everyone feel like the boss that, you know, that you're playing against in the actual campaign. So, you know, all these characters originating for a single player platforming adventure, was balance at all a concern? Or were we just like, let's just make it fun uh, if it's not balanced and <laughs> whatever? Well, no, we definitely worked really hard to balance it, but our sample size is just like not that huge. Right. right. We, it, it was really important to us though. We had a big giant spreadsheet that had every character in it and we made sure that everyone we it was regularly like, polled everyone at the company, like, who's, <laughs> who's too annoying to play against. Who feels, over, who feels overpowered? Who do you wish, what, who do you want to be a cool character, but you just don't get them? Right. And so we really tried to make sure that everybody got their chance and that everyone feels good to play as. But the first consideration, obviously, is just making sure that, you know, they have a lot of uniqueness to their moveset and they're fun to just move around and control. They feel like that Balance character. comes after. Right, right. <laughs> right. We had to do things like, like, make, like, uh, I don't know, increase and decrease the jump heights, make it so characters could do more or less jumps, increase and decrease charge times, that kind of stuff. Is Mr. Hat drinking tea? Is that what he's throwing? Tea cups? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> or it's coffee. <laughs> it's coffee yeah, what's the can on that? Yeah, We're gonna pester you guys. That's a like coffee that. bag. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> this just makes me want to replay Spectre Knight because Spectre Knight is awesome. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, well, that's one of the other cool things about Treasure Trove that we were just talking about a little bit earlier. It's like playing something in context of the larger whole, like, I don't know, like all of the, when all the sequels in a movie are all done, you can like go back and right. like, what, what order should I watch all the Star Wars is in now that they're all done? You could really do that with Shovel Knight now. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, come on. Oh, no. So there's a story mode to showdown. That's right. Yeah. What, we can play what happens story in mode. that? <clears throat> uh, well, <laughs> every fighting game generally has some kind of arcade mode or arcade ladder where you go up against progressively more difficult enemies as you're going. Mm -hmm. Uncle told me to be humble with victory, but sure is hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So in a, so usually there's an arcade mode like that, but we we wanted to go a little bit further with. Uh, with a story mode, and we thought, well, it's always cool when an arcade mode has an ending. Usually, those are really memorable for whatever character you are. It's it, cool if it has like plot significance, right? Some kind of some kind of context in the larger story. It'd be fun to have a rival. It would be fun to have revelations that that are fun just outside of the showdown game mm -hmm. and have larger ramifications elsewhere. So, when we started thinking about all that, then. It got a little bit larger, <laughs> and that's how, and that's sort of how we ended up doing story mode. 
And like you were saying, it's it's cool that it's just in Treasure Trove. Like it's not, it, it's all part of the same thing. So yeah, of course. I, I, yeah, everything's. Oh jeez. Come oh, on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's all in Treasure Trove. <laughs> Hard to talk and focus on playing. Yeah, it right. really is. Tough. It, it never gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> you think it would, but it. it doesn't. Gold armor and two shots. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right, Molite. Molite, you can charge up and release to, oh, okay. to do your mold charge. Like Fire. The the <laughs> downward arc of Plague Knight's bomb seems extremely useful. Yeah, that one's actually changed a little bit from the campaigns, like uh, oh, in Plague of Shadows. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. You can, yeah, you can yeah, I love your character slide, balance. <laughs> oh, geez. So right, cool. like we had to balance Plague Knight's bombs because they were just like way too all over the place. Right, they're, they're tiny. You and just stand fast, in one place. So. And... <laughs> no. no. Oh my oh, god. Oh boy. Oh boy. Like you know. These we always joke that these platforms are magnetized. <laughs> magnetized because everyone just falls in them like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, somebody in chat brought up a question: Will it sure. ever be online? Uh, well, I mean, there's not going to be any like lobbies or online multiplayer added mm. in. But if you if you were playing it over like a streaming service that had online multiplayer, uh, then maybe. Mm. I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want like, like, uh, like that's possible. In oh, some like direct like PlayStation the for. right, but not like uh, no, not one that's actually integrated into the game itself. No, we, we really wanted. We to said release no. Shovel Knight. We Treasure couldn't. Trove finally, in 2019, right. <laughs> if there were online play, yeah. who knows when this would come up. Let's turn on teams. So, a basic question, but uh, I have to know. Do you have a favorite character and has it changed over time? Uh, well, finally, we have the full roster. That's so cool to be able to share. My favorite character is Mona. That's my main. That's a good pick. Uh, yeah, Mona's playable for the first time in Shovel Knight Showdown. She was a favorite in Plague of Shadows, yeah. and she like plays a little bit like Plague Knight, but a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And I just really love Mona, so Mona's my favorite. I like playing Propeller Knight a lot. He's like really sure, springy yeah. in like a lot of directions. He can accelerate up to like really high speed. He's so he annoying. can like so blow annoying. people around with his heavy. <laughs> So like, oh. get oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you get the fairy wand, you turn everyone into a fairy. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. Making this entire world, I mean, having having characters like, like Mona or, or even just other people in the in town and just minor characters, do you ever, like, start wondering, like, oh, man, I, I kind of want to tell a story with them, and I wish we could, or, like, you just get all these ideas for these <laughs> yes, all the characters <laughs> that you make. <laughs> Definitely. And King of Cards is, like, full of that. Yeah. Right? Sure. Like, King of Cards is our most biggest wackiest campaign yet it's like a bigger game even than specter of torment and it, since it was the last one we thought to ourselves well we got to add in all the dumb things that we said we would add before but we didn't right this <laughs> right. is our last chance so if we're going to put something in we got to put it in now <laughs> gonna yeah. kill you gonna kill you how, how long <laughs> did the idea of the card game kick around uh, that was like before even Shovel Knight was done. We said, oh, <laughs> it'd be so funny if, if, if King of Cards was a card game. Just because we figured, oh yeah, we're going to be so done with making platformers that we're just going to... Need something else. Sure, yeah. yeah. Sure. Right, so it'll just be like this weird thing. Of course it ended up... No. <laughs> 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 it ended up being... Uh, yeah, we, we didn't figure out what exactly that would mean until it, took, it comes time to actually develop it. Right. All right, we got to get those propeller knights now. Oh, man. This is our only chance. I just have to say, to King Knight's twirl is amazing. That's it. Dude, wait till it's you play. It's so good. Yeah. It's just... What if I told you King Knight is one of the best characters, if not? Specifically, just his personality. It's it's is like amazing. it's like in Rondo of Blood when you want to finish the level doing the backflip. Like, I want to finish yeah. the level yeah, doing the twirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> 
love playing team shuffle in this mode. It's right. like always so much fun to play with teams, but I hate setting the teams up. And so if you have team oh, nice. shuffle on, it'll just randomly yeah. choose sure. teams. Uh, uh, let's maybe do one more than switch over to king cards. Sure. Okay. You want to do some Chester's choice? Yeah, let's play Chester's choice. All right, all right. What? So, in addition to regular roll and showdown and treasure clash, if you do this mode, it's kind of like Mario Party. Ooh. Ooh. And a thing will spin around, and who knows what wacky modifiers and items and sure. setup oh, you know, man. the stage will take. It's Chester's choice. <laughs> we got just gems, <laughs> which is <laughs> a little boring. most boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? That's like, it's it's go, like also the best because it's now so I want pure. a whole game yeah. about Chester. Yeah. <laughs> Chester win. <laughs> just gems. The most exciting mode. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's all wacky stuff all the time, you wouldn't turn this on. It's right. good to have like regular yeah. matches peppered in there too. But in addition to that, you can also get like everyone's a fairy or like bombs are everywhere. And wacky fun things like that. Um, so I, I think one of the, the best parts about Shovel Knight is like it's one of those games that you can play and you're like these people clearly love games they love the same games that I do you know they grew up with a lot of the same favorites and all of that stuff when you're making Shovel Knight and then all of the updates do you ever create something you're like actually that's a little too close <laughs> to this thing we can't we have to change it a little bit oh you mean like oh this is too much of a rip off yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. there was one there was one uh plague knight run cycle that was like too much like alucard's run cycle from symphony of the gotcha. night and so we're like no no that's like we just left it in as an easter egg that is that's really, really cool yeah, yeah. Really and i know yeah there was there's got to be some other stuff like that. But there are a lot of things that we just said. These are off limits. Like sure. we said, we're using Mega Man as a base for like how the camera moves and mm -hmm. it's an inspiration for so many things. But we're not going to like put appearing and disappearing blocks. Those are like gotcha. not, those like won't yeah. be in Shovel. Mega like, Man but like owns them. They own those. <laughs> <laughs> like we can't, we can't like have spring those. books. Right. We got appearing books, yeah. right. not right. disappearing blocks. <laughs> so we can boot up King of All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boot up. Whoever's got first. We're just playing Treasure Trove, so we can just go back out yeah. to the main menu. And here we are. Just like you'd start a campaign for Spectre Knight or Plague Knight or any of those guys. King Knight is. I love that you still... guys give so many slots. Yeah. <laughs> we upped yeah. them too. Yeah. There were only really 10, and now there's 20. Yeah. So you could really. Well, because if you get four games, you want to <laughs> yeah. have, like. Yeah. I don't know. Like, Multiple uh, saves. Yeah, you I should need be them. the one playing this. Who wants to play? Yeah, you want to try it, Ben? You sure. Play it, dude. Uh, can we do. Co-op or uh, no. I think that's shovel night only. Right? Shovel night only. Only okay. shovel yeah. night. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Oh, that'd be so cool. If they were all co-op. <laughs> <laughs> someday. Uh, Maybe someday. Yeah. Someday. Would you rather it be out this year or have co-op in it? Right. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Right. Definitely right. yeah. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I love the screen. Look at the cartridge slot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is, dude. So regal. The best. Yeah. I can't believe it's all out today. Yep. <laughs> That's like so crazy. Right? After all this time. After all this time. I could barely sleep last night. Yeah, really? They got home late. <laughs> <laughs> that's something to do. Uh -huh. I, I imagine you've said that a lot over the years. Like, just the lack of sleep and yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to put it all together. And uh, we yeah. tried not to kill ourselves too much sure. getting all this out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a very long time. Long time coming. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I'm just excited to see people finally playing all this. Right getting all the secrets, finding all the weird stuff. Um, <laughs> There's a you, lot of weird stuff. Yeah, it's game. so bizarre. Do you guys watch a lot of streams of people playing Shell Knight? Uh, around the office, I would say definitely. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll tune in. I mean, I will occasionally. I know you probably do occasionally. Yeah, this week, now that it's, like, coming out. Mm -hmm. Sure. Week, when the game definitely. comes out, that's, like, the whole... It's, like, all day. Like, oh, today, gosh. it's just mm -hmm. going to be so good. Okay, yep. we got a dash. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. His Wario dash. It's a little Wario-ish. 
Much like oh, the other Shovel Knight yeah. campaigns, it's all like That's two I'm buttons. Talking. You can yeah. like jump and do an attack, but there's like bounce a lot more that too. depth once you start to learn the nuances of it. <laughs> oh, nice. So you can just <laughs> go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that trail's pretty great. So then he can do that and then bounce off them. Yep. Cool. Nice. Yeah, that feels great. It's it's cool because you're you're right. It's that simplicity of Shovel Knight, but it's it's also very different. Like it doesn't just feel like you're doing the same thing, which is cool. Yeah, I like King Knight a lot. We had so many different. I guess we had a different journey with each character, with each game. With Shovel Knight, it was just establishing how it was nice. all going to feel. With Plague Knight, we had this like really crazy mobility. Mm -hmm. Spectre Knight was like very focused, and King Knight is like big and like boisterous and epic and all over the place yeah. and like uh, I think that you but you also get a lot of refined like refinement out of his mobility mm, like yeah. using his role and his twirl together I think you could do stuff that rivals Plague Knight for like coolness yeah totally mm. I love King Knight's mobility it's so good he feels um, like he's got sort Oops. of the best of all the other ideas from the other yeah. characters. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm all in on King Knight. Like, <laughs> yeah, this, this, King is the best, this is the best campaign for sure. <laughs> Maybe in like a month or whatever. I won't, I won't think that. Definitely the longest campaign at all, it seems like, for sure. Yeah. Having so many, like the levels are shorter. Shorter, yeah. So many more of them. Usually like <clears> one <throat> checkpoint now instead of... Yeah. Which only had like what five, sometimes six. Yeah, like that. yeah, they got really, really long. Mm -hmm. And it was, I mean, it was cool. Like it felt like you were really going to a big place. Right. Uh, but these shorter courses, I think, just feel perfect for King Knight. And it makes you feel like you're going on an adventure that has more like decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're going around that map. You got the other exits to get other. Locations. Yeah, the secret yeah. exits. Yeah, were you liking the secret exits? A little secret That's right cool. there. A little bonus. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, this was kind of... We always had... Whoa! That was sick! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. That's cool. So, once you spin, you get one extra dash, and then yeah. that's it? Okay. Yeah, yeah if you, it. I think if you bounce off something, then you can right. dash again. Right, so if you bounce again, now you can do yeah, it again. Yeah, yeah, now you can. But Got it. You can imagine Got you'll it. be chaining those together. We Especially tried. in the later yeah. levels of the game, you start to get really competent with mm -hmm. hit those mechanics. How do I get my bash you, You'll go whole bash without back. Like, touching the ground. Yep. Just his expression when he first grabs the ring is, is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to throw some confetti in. Uh, try pushing the dash again mid dash so you can do a roll. Yeah. Just right. on the ground. Oh, so if cool. you hit a guy with that, you won't launch into the air. Okay. So you if you're like in a, got it. a spot, a little situation where you'd rather okay, not get airborne. airborne. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like I have a big window for that. Yeah, uh, it's just kind of at the at the last yeah. end, at the last end of the bash. You'll get the hang of it pretty fast though. Bremina. I hope so. Blaney That's like my biggest worry is like making sure that everyone understands took like the bash. maybe two, three times to understand it. And it's like, oh, okay, got okay. it. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, that spin feels so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the dragon. Mm. I love Shut that he just time. has his scepter with him, but he, like, never really uses it. <laughs> he just holds it the whole time. You guys seem to understand, and I really appreciate this, it cannot it cannot be overstated, how good chain bouncing is, mm -hmm. and how, like, it's one of the most <laughs> satisfying thing in video games. Because you, you keep it in there, but it's different each time. Like, it was different yeah. for Spectre Knight and Shovel Knight. And yep. <laughs> well, it's like a, the classic bouncing a ball on yeah. a, a mm -hmm. paddle, right? It's, it's the like, best game. So really, really that's like fun. the most. That's the most basic fun game there is. is right, is bouncing a ball. It's, <laughs> so like so balance good. and like bouncing and balancing is cool. <laughs> yeah. Come on, uh, oh, blood! You want to give it a go? Give it a shot? Um, I actually need to ask Brad a quick script question. Did you mean to say additive or addictive? Addictive. Addictive. Okay, cool. Jones is reading the review script right now. Dude, live. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Welcome it's, to the exciting world well, of live script reviews. Yeah. Either way would be true. It's additive and, and addictive. And addictive. <laughs> You decide, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can't bounce off that. Ah, uh, I see. The green. <laughs> they throw those in sometimes. Yeah. Just going through all these levels like a million times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen any of these. In yeah, months. right. It's been so long. <laughs> 
because <laughs> we we kind of wrapped King of Cards and then we were wrapping Showdown at mm -hmm, the very, right. very end. And now we've been doing, you know, writing uh, writing articles and doing mm -hmm. media stuff. So this feels like it's just in the rearview mirror. Yeah. Much more than other games that I've worked on, this feels like it's, yeah, it's like so, were, so long ago. We were like wrapping these levels in like February or March. Oh, wow. Year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much more to do in this game. And with Showdown. It's just a huge, huge... I mean, it's two big old... Full yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Just doing them both at the same time. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was bad. It was fun to do them both at the same time, too. It's nice to like be able to bounce... Hop back and forth, sure, yeah. 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 Just like the bounce, yeah. Is there <laughs> anything from Showdown that ended up in this because of that, or...? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like when, like uh, when you get the rat, uh, the explosive rat. Oh my god, the rat bombs! Yeah. Right. That's. I mean, that's like in your basic kit in Showdown, but in King of Cards, you also get that item as an heirloom, and we gave you the ability to turn the rat around by pressing the button, mm -hmm. so you could change its direction if it was out for too long. I forget which one, but it was in one. It was like in this one, or it was in Showdown. And then we're like, oh geez, we gotta. We gotta consolidate those. It's too good of a thing. It was in Showdown first because then, you only have like one extra ability. So you gotta direct in that it, game. Yeah. and so mm -hmm. it gets like a lot more scrutiny towards like this needs to be like a really good ability that you can use in a million situations because it's a fighting game and you could potentially play it like mm -hmm. thousands of times. And so once it got implemented there, we like brought it back into King of Cards. Yeah. There's character stuff that kind of works like that too. Like Dark Reese, he was like a showdown thing, and then he yeah. became a Spectre of Torment thing. I mean, we've been working on showdown in the background for so long mm -hmm. now that it's been with us as we've been developing all these campaigns. I think little bits of all of them ended up in that game. Sure, yeah. You can still sort of recognize, like, oh, yeah. I could see what room this used to be <laughs> a million years ago. <laughs> and, and only you will know. That's... Maybe. Well, maybe. If, you play, yeah. if you played the games uh, in sequence, I think maybe it would become more... It would become clearer. Sure, sure yeah. yeah. Um, what do the medallions do? Uh, That's what you purchase um, heirlooms with, right? That's right. Oh, Which nice. are like your sub weapons. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, oh there's a guy there. there. That was B.O. <laughs> there's a guy there. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, the rat one particularly, I really was a fan of. Especially that they're his loyal subjects, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, King Knight is a. King Knight's a fake king, yep. right? Everything about That's him. That's why he's doing this, yeah. Uh, everything about him is false. I'm really happy with all the sub weapons in this campaign. They're like they came out really good. Yeah, they all have so many different varied uses. Oh, I love the reflect cloak, <laughs> and it has yeah. like that extra like dodge it, the air dodge in it too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's really it ended up really good. <laughs> I love I love when something works out and you can just like laugh yeah, at it. Yeah, like, awesome. oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, that. we did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the fire sword too is really fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, don't know, oh. I don't know what I was doing there. We had to work so it's gotta, hard. It's got to. It's got to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sword. we had to make it take one less hit. <laughs> Working on something for so many years, it's gotta feel great. Like still being excited about the thing, you know, to still. Yeah. Have, have enthusiasm well, toward it. I don't or maybe know. not. I think no, no. It's great. I think we <laughs> we managed to entertain one another at the studio and all the. It's like the stuff that we're working on. It's not stuff that's six years old. It's stuff that the stuff that we came up with recently. Mm -hmm. Right. Most for the most part, it's just riffing on something that was made a really long time ago. And as time goes by, that baggage increases and increases mm -hmm. just a little bit more with every game. So I think at this point we're going to be we're excited to jump onto something fresh. Right. Yeah. But definitely. it's fun to 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 have a, our Slack emojis of all the characters <laughs> and speak and speak as them in the <laughs> Slack chat all the time, and to. Uh, it's it's to, cool to just have had built such a collection of so many different games that are like building on the same. Mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. you, playing them like through the years, and like 
doing each campaign in sequence, I think, is a lot of fun and like a lot of interesting. And you can see like how our tastes have, as a company have like evolved yeah. and how the we've focus grown, has like as developers. Like I think that this this game just looks so much more like polished and professional than Shovel Knight did. Not that Shovel Knight doesn't look. I was gonna good, say but... I played. I was playing Shovel Knight last night actually, and it definitely looks different. Yeah, <laughs> not a bad way at all. But I yeah. can just tell it's like it's, yeah. it's a little bit dated compared to. I mean, this is this stuff is like also uh, like set piece over the top, custom made art. It's just like totally crazy. <laughs> Oh man, his mom is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> yeah, he's so good, dude. <laughs> Starter subjects. Yeah. Part of my and he's just standing there with his cape blown, dude. <laughs> how how hard is it not talking to people about the the ideas that you have or the things that you're working on? Uh, I just talked to everybody about it. Okay. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if we hung out if you, more if often... If you know either of us, then you have you just, I see, so Yeah, you'll just know Sorry. exactly how it's going. And <laughs> okay. probably have to weigh in on some story question that we had or something. Uh, <laughs> does that ever lead to instances where you're like, ah, I probably shouldn't have said that to that person? Uh, you know, the only, pl the only time that we really have to be super careful, I think, is that packs mm -hmm. because people are always trying to ask for something they want some kind of scoop on well wait is there what's this character that you haven't announced or what's the, what game are you working on or what feature is exclusive and there's so many times when it's like we're gonna reveal it but it hasn't been revealed yet or it's mm. like, wait which one yeah. which one of these there's a lot of things <laughs> have you showed them characters how many characters are there i don't remember <laughs> like i finished the game like months ago so yeah I don't know. at pax i think is the highest likelihood yeah. for a gaff like that but at like, pax is fine i'm not friends with any narcs so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh man that's that's the quote right there yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's fine totally fine the, the the lamp there. Yeah. You can't uh, bounce off the green. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Classic skeleton. Classic skeleton. This is a classic setup with the two lanterns. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Figuring out how to <laughs> remix all this stuff was a really fun challenge too. Mm -hmm. Like so many of these uh, elements from like other one. Shovel Knight games, right? Like lanterns right. are like Specter Knight's thing, um, and moving platforms are like everywhere. But figuring out how to like make new setups with them, you know, four games mm -hmm. later, uh, is, is a very very interesting challenge. Yeah, we were, oh! Oh! We were actually <laughs> talking about King of Cards on this podcast that we do, Frame Trap, and that was kind of a moment that I had where I was like he was speaking so highly of it and i was like that's really impressive that they can still make it just from a level design perspective mm -hmm. feel fresh so many years later yeah well and I, I have to imagine that that is a huge challenge definitely and yeah, like sure is. there are probably <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of discarded ideas along the way yeah there are many many discarded ideas there are many ideas that have changed so much from when they were first implemented that they don't even look the same anymore. Uh, but like Alec was saying earlier, that's like the fun I think of making these games is like putting the unique King Knight twist on what the same enemy or what the same object is. Mm -hmm. Or adding like some other little thing to that old object to make it more interesting again. Right. It's like always, I don't yeah. know. When you're regularly making a game, you can just kind of put what you want in there. But working on so many Shovel Knight games has felt like constructing a really interesting like puzzle of like so many pieces that right. already exist and need to fit together in right. some way. It's a, it really is like a series. It's really like a saga. And even the way that all the enemies work with the mobility, I feel, is like part of that. It's like you could really see, I don't know, it reminds me, ooh. <laughs> it, reminds, it reminds me of oh. Oh, man, oh wow of Mario 2 like where you have the four characters and each one of them is like pulling the turn up up a little bit more yeah, they're, yeah. All, they're all like jumping a different height or running a different speed it's like now that all four characters you could like see them all it's just really neat I, I have to imagine there's some conflict between like alright we want like for King Knight for example it's like okay well we want things that he can bounce off of 
and we want them to be, you know, at these different points in the level. And then there's also the challenge of, well, it, it also has to like make sense in the aesthetic of the level, like what. Right, how what, could there what, be a lantern like there floating in space? Right, 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 right. <laughs> well, it's got to go on that back ridge there that somebody had to make. Right. And there's got to be a cave, and that ceiling has to go away so that you could jump freely around on the skeleton. And there has to be a tree behind that lantern so that the red sky isn't behind it, so you wouldn't oh, be able oh, to see it. Oh, slipping. It all kind of gets constructed somewhat organically, but we have a lot of rules in place mm -hmm. to try and make it uh, easy to play and understand. But yeah, developing all those rules takes a long time. Um, and I, I, you know, like you were saying, just learning as you go, is there kind of a, a moment where you have like a, a post-mortem on like, okay, well we did, you know, the Spectre Night update, we're going into King of Cards, like what did we learn from oh, definitely, that yeah. last thing? Yeah, we just did a, a big old post-mortem. A lot of um, the ideas of each campaign feel to me like they're at least somewhat in response to like the previous one. Mm -hmm. Plague Knight, you had to charge your bombs, and we were worried after making that game that it was maybe too difficult for having, newcomers. Having to feather a button and then mm -hmm. falling off. Of yeah. it was mm -hmm. just like so it was too like much. Spectre Knight will be like, you just tap the button, and it's like more simpler. Right. King Knight um, had a charge ability for his bash at one point years ago when we were like just starting. <laughs> years, literally. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, in response to, to what we'd seen at PAX and like some play tonight feedback, we, we ended up changing that. Cool. Even just like the focus of, of the level design, I think changes a little bit from campaign yeah. to campaign. Mm -hmm. If these levels are going to be shorter, then King Knight needs to be able to interact with the objects and the enemies in the level in like a more complex way. And that's why his move, um, the bash and the spin is kind of like a, a two part attack. I, I think what's so exciting about taking these different characters is like that dragon, right? Like we fought that dragon multiple times, but right. because we have a totally different move set, the interaction is completely different. Yeah, and that's that's really, really cool. Oop, yeah, you gotta approach it like in a whole different way with right. like a different setup. Um so like going to PAX oh boy, and oh talking to nice. all these people over the years, I mean, have you guys gotten to like Sit down with your heroes at all, or or yeah. get insight oh from people. Oh my gosh, are you that... kidding me? It's been like freaking. <laughs> it's just been amazing. It's been like the most amazing journey. I mean, we we had uh, we had a couple of songs written by Manami Matsumai, mm -hmm. who, who wrote the songs for Mega Man, the like original Mega Man, uh, which it's like that's what I was playing when I was like five years old. Right, right. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like like the first music I ever like. Like, you know, like memorized probably. <laughs> they it was like her yeah. song, and it's like there she is, and we're like drinking beer at, at like Crazy, at some, yeah. yeah, at like some bar packs. We're like meeting like Unifune and Mega Man, and like I'm shaking hands with Reggie. Right. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, like how is we that met Reggie? Koji, we met Koji Kondo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's. He has, of course, a, a firm, a firm, <laughs> a, a, yeah. a firm, intimidating handshake. <laughs> he was, he was just like after the game awards. He he shook my hand and he was like, he was like, hey, thanks for the great game. <laughs> what like, else could he ask for? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There's, yeah, that's awesome. Be, yeah, those shows. It's like I don't know. It's like going to Hollywood and you just see, you, right? Ooh. It's like you just see. It's like, what was that? Like Miyamoto over there? Yeah, just walking yeah. by. Sweaty, I can't believe, like, sweaty, loud Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, when, when you're collaborating with somebody like that, that you have this reverence for. Is it hard giving any sort of feedback at all? Like even the mildest feedback because Well, she's speaks only Japanese. So. Sure. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> <laughs> so giving feedback is really hard. Um, yeah, we, it was more like we're working through a translator. Gotcha. And it was more like everything she delivered was pretty much amazing. Mm -hmm. Um Jake had a specific sound for the BRC seven style uh Chip tune music that he was making, and he like put it into that sound set and arranged it. So she just knocked it out of the park. Yeah, it was amazing. And she was like cool and gracious and amazing. Mommy's well, so cool. <laughs> they they say never meet your heroes, but it sounds like in this case, like, pretty good. Experience. Pretty good. Yeah, experience, well, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe if we had 
had to spend a really long time sure. working together or something. Sure, meet yeah. your heroes briefly. <laughs> right. Just, yeah. Yeah, meet, yeah, meet them briefly. Handshake. Oh, <laughs> that's right, that's smart, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been really cool. Uh, I was wondering why there were this, just these high numbers in the hundreds in chat. I was like, what is going on? They're counting our deaths. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Throughout, yeah, yeah. Throughout. For a long time. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, every once in a while it resets, but uh, it doesn't look like it's reset for a while. In like every game? Yes. Yeah, oh. just everything. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. It's they. Like, uh, it gets out. We are reminded of our failures. Yeah. Yep. Does that, is that like deep learning that does that? Or just, uh, that's no, that's just the, you know, <laughs> somebody just, Someone oh, I like that spin on the, yeah, yeah, you could spin off of there. There he is. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, man. That's, that's so cool because like now I feel like I have this appreciation for this character after playing his mm -hmm. game right. that I didn't have before, <laughs> and so this moment is way cooler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Context baby. Yeah. yeah so. It's like Proto Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is like Yeah! That's great. This especially is so cool. Just seeing him use his like moves That's from the campaign. player right? Spectre Knight that you're wall, fighting. Right. So like, yeah, so we fought Spectre Knight. We fought player Spectre Knight against King Knight. Mm -hmm. We fought Plague Knight against Shovel Knight. And Shovel Knight against Plague Knight. The bounce blood! Oh, oh. oh you had it going. Yeah, I was, I, I was getting there. The hearts coming out during combat a lot. That's new, right, for this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. we started with shorter stages, right? Mm -hmm. If you have the same amount of health with the stages half as long, then you're going to have too much health for the stage. Right. And so at first it's like, well, let's cut it in half. And then it's like, oh no, now the bosses are like really <laughs> doing too hard. <laughs> so that's why when you damage enemies that have a lot of health, sometimes a heart will pop gotcha. out. And it, it balances like the health economy to be like roughly in the same difficulty as other Shovel Knight campaigns. But mm -hmm. it's also a lot of fun when the heart comes out as a yeah. physical object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because it's always down. like on the other side of the enemy, and you're like, should I like go in there after them, or should mm -hmm. I like lay back because they disappear? So like, I don't know. Yeah, That's it's so it's almost awesome. like a, a smaller moment of after you die and trying to get the treasure back, kind of. A little mm -hmm. bit, yeah. Yeah, you guys expand upon it too a little later oh. through other means, oh. which is nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice blood. All good. Good job, um, all good. That look at that twirl, well baby. Done. Keep going. <coughs> You're going to get to the card thing soon, I think. Oh, okay. Um, Real soon, yeah. I was going to say something. Oh, is there a, a difficulty option for, like, let's say you play through King of Cards, and you're like, oh, man, I'd love to try that, but this time the hearts don't pop out. Uh, Nothing like that. I there's, bet you there's a cheat for no There's hearts. a lot of cheat codes. Okay. Mm. And there is a new game plus also mm -hmm. that uh, turns things on its head a little bit, and it's definitely harder than the normal version. There's your deck. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Nah. Nice. Finally, your card. <laughs> King of Cards <laughs> starts yeah. here, dude. Sorry, with your witchery. <laughs> you simpleton? Yeah, God. <coughs> I love the dog. It's so funny. Uh. There you go, dude. Just go up to that end. Yeah, let's let's play some cards. Oh, some joust is good. What do you think about the Resident Evil 3 trailer? Me? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Yes. That's a good response. The Resident Evil 2 remake this year was so, so good. You've just been playing it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was making friends play it this last weekend and like clearing the, play it. the clear B row. We haven't yeah. done that one yet. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I did all the routes. That's awesome. The, uh, the, the hunk challenge is really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tofu and the DLC was a really cool perspective on everything and yeah, yeah, it's a hell of a game. I didn't do the, the bonus scenarios yet. When I when the game came out, I was like, "Come on, we gotta play it." And then my friends went home, and I was too scared to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I admired the honesty. Yeah, yeah, it's spooky. Yeah, yeah, spooky game. Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting. Some like Tetra Master. Right? Yeah, you just look at the board. Sure. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> says Tetra Master. Did y'all play Tetra Master more than Triple Triad? Well, the arrows. The arrows are, I think, what it were. That's me think right. Of. Yeah, that's I always just call it Triple Master, Triad because yeah. it came first. And that's just what I remember. Right. Ooh. 
Was the gem something you guys always had in mind for the card game? You mean covering a gem? Yeah, like, so it's more of like a board, like, not like a Hearthstone game or something yeah, like that. You always yeah, wanted more like this. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, when we were setting out to design Joustus, we looked at a bunch of different board games and card games, but we didn't want to make something like Magic the Gathering. Right. I mean, we love Magic the Gathering and the Pokemon card game and all that stuff, but it's just like, that would be way too complicated mm -hmm. for Shuffle Knight, for something that was supposed to be oh. like a fun mini game that you could finish playing in a minute. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't want too big of a context shift. If you're like playing a platforming level and then all of a sudden you're mm -hmm. like, what, what were my stats like? What's right. my deck? Right, 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 right. Of course. I it's... picked up a skeleton with power 500. Should I put it in there now? Yeah, so we, we wanted to keep it a game that's like yeah. simple to learn and snappy and arcadey mm -hmm. to play. Yeah, very. Yeah. Yeah. And like physical. I think that helps a lot. There's, right. there's no like magic of, right. of how it's working it's it, all like pieces colliding into each other yeah. and you can like very clearly it's see like it all. checkers or like have y'all ever played hive no no it's a really cool it's like it's it's like they're octagonal dominoes and they all have different bugs on them mm. and you play it like dominoes where all the where all of them are facing up and you move them around each other and there are different rules that mm -hmm. govern all the different uh pieces just like chess anyway it's hive. <laughs> Try it, it's really cool. Try I don't it. know if y'all like board games and card games and stuff. That was really fun and mm -hmm. made total sense. Nice. Well, that's just a yeah. tutorial. So, okay. the, the game ends when the center board is full. Right. Whoever has the gem wins? Whoever or... has the most gems covered. Right. Gotcha. Okay. And if no one has a gem, then it would have been a <coughs> Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. Things can get pretty crazy though <laughs> later on. Yeah, certain cards and other things. Oh, and you—if you win, you get to take a card, and if they win, they get to take yeah, one of your that's cards. Right. Yes. Oh boy, you can yeah, and the stakes are your high. card back if you lose yeah. it. Okay, you can buy that's... back your card, and you also get infinite of like the the starter deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's good. You, so you don't need to worry too much about like losing, losing cards. Because yeah, what, what was it when we did the Final Fantasy VIII remake? And yeah. like we started losing too many yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, and all of a sudden you just you're, you're out of luck, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy mystery cards as well down in the uh, down in the basement. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there, there's a lot of ways to get cards. I wouldn't worry too much about losing them. I love that I'm buying juice for this entire tavern. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. You're like, you're like, oh, perfect response <laughs> oh, no. from him. Uh, I really appreciate that a lot of the card games you play against other uh, opponents, they're quite different. You guys throw in little things that change up the game. Just like tiny yeah. little things that make a huge difference. How much of Joustus did you play? I've beaten this whole place and I'm almost done with the second one. Okay, oh, you got so much more cool stuff yeah. to see as well. It'll yeah, get way crazy. it gets way <laughs> yeah. crazy. Yeah. I, the approach was a lot like just making the platforming levels, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like we wanted different boards that like change things up. We wanted different oh. elements that you're discovering over time. It's this a first card puzzle. Card house yeah, so here's much like just a small example, stuff. yeah. We're already mixing it up. Yeah, right, so here you gotta like figure it out in one, one move. move. It's a classic card puzzle. <laughs> oh boy. We didn't even play a full on card game yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> Already at the puzzle. Uh... So, can you do a chain reaction? So, like, if I do that, will it, it will just push it off to the side? Okay. Yeah, he's opposing your arrows. But you so could, you if there aren't opposing arrows, you totally could. Like, if you bring it down a couple notches underneath the other Fleeto. Mm -hmm. So you can go down. And you can push both of them up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's pretty swanky. Yeah. Okay. But then can he, he counter that? If he... No, because he doesn't have a card. You can look or at his he arrows. Down. He could try to push you up, but he can't. So yeah, he could push okay. down he and up and left. Got it. So I don't think he can do anything. Yeah. Because that's the top's now blocked. So he's just got to yeah. place it down. Right. There you go. Oh, oh you win. Cool. Puzzle solved. Cool, cool, cool. Money. Uh, I also appreciate if you get all the gems, like, in a match, you can get, like, three cards you can collect. <laughs> yeah, gems. yeah. You I can was get like, oh, man, sweet. that's really yeah, that's awesome. Super cool. Yeah, and if you if there's more than three gems, then you get as many, oh, so you get you many get as cards, many cards and gems? as there are gems. Interesting. Later on, you'll f there you could there's fight. one fight that has, that has like, like five <laughs> or like something. Oh man! Something. So, you just, so you can just get so many in each one. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yes. 
either your highness. Up here, we should be moving. <laughs> oh. The cheat cards, man. So oh, cool. It, oh, yeah. I think that like just Play fits so well with his character, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chester will offer you those. It's also a, a nice, soft way to we gotta get balance the, the difficulty yeah. Yeah. for different types of players. Or sometimes there might be a battle that you just like can't figure out. Well, mm -hmm. I love the reveal. You got a double arrow too. Ooh, that's oh. good. Yeah, let's double. Edit deck. A double yeah. arrow is just stronger than a regular arrow, mm -hmm. so it can like push against a single arrow. Got it. Um, it's yeah. facing the same. So direction. you could just take. So your deck's on the right, yeah. Yeah, and you could just put them in there. Boom. Boom. Jeez. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> so that was completely random. Like I could have gotten something worse. It was, well, it wasn't completely random, but you okay. could have got something worse, and that's really good. There's okay. like tiers, right? I'm gonna need you yeah, to, like, to right. copy over the yes. save file. Level <laughs> one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That play all three cards in your hand at once seem really good. So are these single use things? It's only one time. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. for something. Yeah, all right. very Not as expensive as a bar full of juice, though. Yeah. No. That's real expensive. And not as expensive as losing all of your cards and then rebuying them. Yes. So maybe right. it's worth it yes. to like stock in now. You or could, you can keep your gold and use it to, to obviate some of the platforming difficulty too. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, right. The two games, like running around doing platforming and doing the card game, like weave in and out of each other. Oh, he seems serious. Yeah. He does seem serious. <laughs> does, does we get beat He's got an eye all patch. right. <laughs> he needs business. Horse with an eye patch. You'll need to pay Chester a fortune to reclaim all the cards I win from you. What a, what, a, what a easy and intuitive way to let <laughs> players, <laughs> players, know. players know that you could do that. How many copies of Shovel Knight do each of you guys have? <laughs> so I definitely have Wii U, Switch, and Xbox. I might have Steam as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think oh. I have. Three or four versions? I forgot I had the, <laughs> the Switch and Xbox ones. I was just looking through my library. Oh, I have Treasure Trove. <laughs> it's you guys and I went to Switch. I'm like, oh, I have Treasure Trove there too. <laughs> exclusive content. And I'm like, well, I got to play all this stuff. <laughs> got gotcha. Battle Toads. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. The Battle Kratos, Toads are okay. so cool though, right? They're yeah. All so, right, good, let's go. Let's yeah, yeah. I figure it out, man. <laughs> well, the thing is, so with the double, the, the double arrow, we can push the top left up, but then he could just push me off. D okay, yeah, that's true. So that doesn't <laughs> seem like a good idea. I don't think so. So we should we try to just get the gem? Oh, you, you can't, can't, can't put it on. You yeah. only push you it. You have on. to push. Oh, okay. okay. So you really Sometimes only have one. Sometimes it's good to push that. Well, you got two options. In advance, then you can push them off later. But if you push if them you on the gem... Enough. If you put your blow you under the gem, you could use the double arrow to then push it up onto the gem. Or if you put your skeleton under the gem, mm -hmm. then There's you could use it to push it. And he can't get pushed. All right, yeah. we're going to put the skeleton under the gem. Oh, what an idiot. Yeah. Easy. You got this. Easy. Whoa. Wow, he must have just Don't had a There we go. There we go. Good job. I love how quick <laughs> that is, too. Yeah. Dude. Well, Take and that so, Griffin card. so that's only a two by two board, right? But yeah. so there could be a three by three board. Some of the boards get like enormous, and those matches take like a lot longer. Yeah. Like, take that Griffin. Definitely. So, okay, check it out. Yeah, you we're press, absolutely taking that. You right. can press Great minus card. to look at your card info, and then it like shows you everything. Oh, that's cool. Mm. That, I mean, that could be interesting potentially. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You might want to read that for some other cards. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you have any, like, Magic the Gathering, like, lore, flavor text, anything like that? Uh, no, there's not about okay. about the separate cards. That would have been cool, though. Hey. There's not enough space on the screen to sure. fit any yeah. flavor text <laughs> in German <laughs> on uh, NES pixel size. <laughs> a little flag dude, love it. Yeah, you get a little... Uh, That's Casa cool. Yellow, That's cool. Casa Bonita. Mm -hmm. yeah, that Casa Bonita flag. <laughs> Uh, so I just uh, I can just imagine him running around with a bunch of flags in his pocket. Uh -huh. Like, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think of it like that. I thought they were it's just, uh, Like, it's like, totally fitting to his character. Yeah, I mean, it has his face on it. He mm -hmm. probably did bring them. So when you're going through <laughs> a level, are there is there anybody that you can I challenge so. in a platforming level? Like, is there like, a <coughs> section where it's like, hey, let's just play cards? No. no. Okay. We, we really wanted to keep it yeah. separate. So as you're playing the platforming game, you're not thinking like, oh, is there, is there going to be a card playing sure. NPC yeah. in no, the like, screen? Which are, dude? Sure. Gwen? Yeah. 
Well, and that the bard card, baby. That can also oh, like mess work. with the intention of the level design too. Totally. Like, All of a sudden, you forget. If, you, if you're like looking at your card menu for like eight minutes and playing a card game, then mm -hmm. you go back, you'll like forget about that enemy or that pit. Right. I think I think we're in some good cards. Here. Yeah. Did any of us play Uno when working on this game? Probably, but only incidentally. So. <laughs> I heard they changed all the colors in Uno, and that's all weird now. Oh, oh really? That's weird. <laughs> that's a huge. I should put that on Reddit. I get so much gold. <laughs> You'll never guess what colors they changed Uno to. How dare they? All right, Blood, you want to give it a shot? You oh, want to crunch us out. Sure. He eats the cards, dude. I love that. Goat time. It's goat time. <laughs> oh boy. Now we got three. <laughs> Starting Tishin. me off. Hopefully, Goatition does not run nice well and easy. With, with strategy. A bigger board also means more opportunity to like put cards down and reclaim space. Mm -hmm. If you, if you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the star on the deck editor means that that's a unique card. There's only one of them. So playing kid, the card in the center there, is a unique card. You could also see because he's got like the foil around the rim. These other those other cards are regular common cards. Mm -hmm. So you ha okay. So you have to push. Yeah, you can't put it on the gem spots. No, that's good, because you pushed him out of the way and also put yourself into position. Yeah, but you can't push that way. Jeez. You can point. always just push him up. Oh, that's true. You yeah. can push him up like that. Come on. <laughs> that's, 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 that's good. That's <laughs> good. Like maybe put the rat underneath the, the left gem. Yeah. Like setting it up. Yeah. Yeah. Move him up. That's looking good. Because he can't push up. Yeah. Oh, no, you really got him. You could push that up. Okay, yeah. Right. Pull stack. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him run the right. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I feel like we could get a gem sweep. He only has blorbs. He can only push down right yeah, now. Yeah, You got an opposing arrow, so you can't push a him. You could get the... You could get that rat or up onto there mm -hmm. somehow. Yeah, Easy win. Whoa, he couldn't even play. Because he was couldn't even play. Orbs. He down. Nice job, blood. Well nice. Done. That's it. That's it. Oh, you ready to put us out? I yeah, feel that's like. It. I say this is a compliment. <laughs> I say this is a compliment, but I, I almost forgot that you guys were developers. I felt like we were we were just at an easy ally stream, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, like right. discovering a game, like we were all right. buds or something. Yeah, right. it just felt very very chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was awesome. Yeah, that yeah. was super cool. Yeah. 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 Out today, cool. all of this, man. Yeah. Today is the day. I. It's like really unbelievable. What a crazy adventure this whole thing has been. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, well, sleep. I think, yeah, well, we've been getting some okay sleep. Okay, good. I mean, I guess not last night, not so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I think we're going to hang out with everyone, with friends and family. Sure. Mm -hmm. Eat some hang food. Hang out with Reggie. Do it, say, yeah, <laughs> right. Get more, get more handshakes from Reggie. Yeah. Um, and just get back to, get back to making stuff yeah. next week. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, yeah. You guys want to let everyone know where they can get this on? Oh, uh, no. oh, plug boy. it. Plug it. I yeah. can do it. Wii U, 3DS, PC, Mac, Linux, PS3, PS4, Vita, Amazon Fire TV, Switch. <laughs> Some of those I didn't know. About. I looked at that <laughs> list yesterday. I was like, whoa. <laughs> did you say? I think that's all. Did you say Xbox? Oh, Xbox. Yeah, because Xbox. Because <laughs> the physical version is like actually, for the first yeah. time, it's like actually a there physical it is, version. There it is. Yeah, it's like I've never actually held it in my hands before. Anyway, you can get that on all those platforms, on all those stores, everywhere. All, all the universe. Amiibos. All the, all the Amiibos? Oh my gosh. Oh, we got a yeah, show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the old Shovel Knight Amiibos yeah, the three well. packs down there if you want to show them. Yeah. yeah. Take a look at what yeah, we yeah. brought in. I'll go, I'll go full camp. Yeah, you gotta, look, you gotta look at all this stuff. We brought in so many cool goodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like Christmas. Yeah. So you can see a little bit of the TV on this angle, but yeah. Uh, 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 there you go. Uh, 
like, yeah, okay, so check it out. Here's the gold Shovel Knight amiibo. Whoa. Not real gold. <laughs> Not made of real gold. Here's oh, three pack. pack. Yeah, yeah, look at that, that three out. pack. Three pack. Oh my so goodness. Finally out. And all these unlock things and all the campaigns, and they're totally worth it and cool. So, buy them all and get them. <laughs> yeah, that's our pitch. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. See y'all next time. Yeah. Thank and you. thanks for stopping in. Yeah, guys. thanks for stopping yeah, in. Thank you so much. It was yeah. <laughs>